Oscar Echo Foxtrot Mike Foxtrot with the 360 knots after airport, lift heading 010, climb and maintain flat level 120, runway 04 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 04 left after airport, heading 010, climbing 1, flat level 120, Oscar Echo
Hello guys. We are coasting up. We are already over the Mediterranean Sea. And there's another two hours plus to go to Irakian. Six, zero, six. I actually saw the pyramids today again. Five, five, yeah, I got them from farther distance. It looked really cool with the... But it was like the haze and you're just the tops. So... Different view. Way higher than last time. Very amazing to see them again. It was probably the soul of the fire which basically made us abruptly a GPS fail then. Yeah. <laughs> A complete GPS, the GPS 1 gone, GPS 2 gone. Yeah. From one second to another it was like, uh, no GPS anymore. Well, how can we fly without GPS anymore? This Ooh, that's a good question. Good that there is a VOR in Cairo. That our route was leading us. Or we are totally lost. <laughs> Aren't we that always? <laughs> Um, yeah, reverted back to VR and navigation, and uh, this is what I often already experienced in, in, in Egypt. Maybe because they have some unsafe areas, um, uh, they are really jamming the, the GPS over there. Or the GPS 1 and 2 gets jammed. <laughs> and then you get a direct to a waypoint. <laughs> Good night. Well, what you still can do is to, to run the iPad, because I interesting thing that the navigation on the iPad is working as it's yeah. working on Kronos. Yeah, that was really interesting as well. as well. But we got it back then after 10 minutes. A little bit more, I believe. Next coming up, approach in Heraklion. It's a pretty nice approach by the way. We, we actually uh, fly by uh, coasting here via Cetia. Uh, it's very hilly and mountainous. Uh, 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 island, yeah. and then we have a very long final, I believe, runway 27 is it? because uh, you, it's always runway 27. <laughs> the, the nice thing is, it's like an aircraft carrier because you have a, a really ah, steep really? coast, really? and then really after the coast, there is the runway. Ah, cool. I'll look forward for that runway picture again. Yeah, that, that's a good camera picture, a very famous one now. Yeah, the wind remained pretty much the same. We have a little bit more fuel on the over destination now. Um, it's it's not gallons. shortly back to 14 gallons. It was pretty close, but now we got 19. Uh, we have also a ground bit now of 140. And with the MPPs, you have these output containers and on top exhaust and so on. This eat a little bit of trail speed to the. Yeah. Yeah to the clean configuration aircraft. Maybe you haven't noticed, we have the, uh, I will show you here now. We have the exhaust um, on top here. As you see, there's a noise muffler inside and uh, this is the noise and infrared reduction kit we call it. So for surveillance and uh, reconnaissance reason to reduce the signature of the aircraft. Yeah. Then actually way in the back we have sensors and everything. Yeah, we have a satellite communication system where you can uh, uplink uh, uh, the video and, and reconnaissance data we had. Uh, on, the, on the bottom floor uh, we have installed a, a radar, a patrol ra as a merit patrol radar. And uh, on the nose, now dismantled for the ferry, yeah. but it's just sitting here as a passenger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, an EO, electro optical, and infrared camera. Um, the idea is that you actually make the, the long area surveillance of the radar. You pick up the targets and then you go there uh, and, and get the, the high resolution data with the camera. Yeah. including geo-referencing, uh, range measurement and so on. And then you send this kind of reconnaissance data via the satellite to the base station. Yeah. You also have line of sight downlinks which have slightly more, or they have more, more bandwidth, more data rate, but uh, they are limited in range because it's line of sight. Yeah? Of course. Um, 
try to do the satellite, you just beyond line of sight it's called. Yeah. You basically can send the data all around the world. And this is for maritime patrol where you operate outside of the coast. So long really ranges, cool, yeah. very yeah. useful tool. Yeah. And this is all combined with the long endurance capability of the yeah. aircraft makes and and very low running costs make make this aircraft so so great. Okay, I'll take a fox and Mike Fox, go ahead. Yes, sir. In case of communication loss over Tenza, code 1252. Essence 1252 over Tenza. I'll take a fox and Mike Fox, what you can. As well as that. Uh, what's, what's the endurance uh, with all the pods on it? Um, well, it depends a lot of the configuration you put in. Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, but no, but uh, I have to, to do my math now, but you can, you can do the 5-6 to six hours missions. That's really good. Oh, pumps off. That's really good. Oh, Oxpumps off. Got it. Climb flight rule 360. Oh, no, time for breakfast. That's nice. Severe VMC again, Iraq. Yeah. Approach clearance yeah. still pending. That's true. We have six nautical miles to go for the initial approach fix. Iraq, yeah. I'll speak of Fox and Mike Fox and confirm. Get for the iron of approach number two seven. Hey, fair, most kind of Fox, Mike Fox. After bus is cleared, turn on approach number two seven. Good for the other time, people trying to do seven. Not the bus. Come back for the bus. Good for the approach. Approach mode is armed. GPS is anyways green. Glide path is right. Landing. Check your lights. Up one, up two. Lights, they are working. Looks good. Parking brakes is released. And control is on. Rest is all set. Run inside. Oscar, Fox, my Fox, contact tower, 120, Desmo, Alex, 5-0. 1208, 5-0, yes, Oscar, Mike Fox, Tom. Mira, Oscar, Fox, Tom, Mike Fox, Tom, on our map, RMP approach, on the 2-7. Oscar, Fox, Tom, Mike Fox, Cloud, to continue approach, runway 27, copy traffic information, slow moving VFR, just departed from the station, north of the station, and uh, now passing 500 feet. We'll have a look at the traffic of the camera concert. Sky pass, one dot below. Two seconds. Mr. Bottle is at 3,000 seconds. Thank you, Captain. Runway 27, ready to departure. Cyprus 461, hold short of runway 27. Green, red off. One arrival in progress. Oscar Echo Foxtrot, Mike Foxtrot, uh, wind 280 degrees, 5 knots, runway 27, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 27, Oscar Mike Foxtrot. 1217, this is the ground frequency. Minimums, minimums. Oh, okay. We continue. We check first. Oh, 
Cyprus for Sox 1 behind the Atlantic traffic now towards final line up and wait around with 7 behind. Behind the Atlantic traffic line up and wait around the way to 7 behind Cyprus for Sox 1. Final check. Kiddo, we see the man, we'll be on uh, departure after the arrival. Kiddo, we'll find it off. Nice time with this coast over here. Oh, let's lose the red lights, we don't need those. There's an upslope, right? Yeah. Interesting. The first up. Scarico Mike, Foxtrot, gate left and then right to stand number two. Follow the yellow lines and the martial arts instructions. So follow the yellow line and the martial instructions for stand number two in the right turn. Oscar Mike Fox. Turn lights off, pumps are off. Oscar Mike Foxer, correction, the, stand, the parking stand is the number one. Inside. Number one for Oscar Mike Foxer. Parking brake set. We leave it open. This is off. Engine's off. Welcome to Europe. We're back. Well, that was a fast turnaround, even though we had to totally change our route. Yeah. But we know the weather is good, we know the note are good. And we have a fuel release. We have five plants. Let's fly to do cold, thank you. Oh. I don't know, they, they wanted me call in Skopje, because there have been some questions, probably PPR questions or something, but pick up the telephone. I had two telephone numbers, but I didn't pick it up, so, well. Oh, okay. Oscar Mike Fox Road, ready for departure? Uh, firm, sir, ready for departure. Oscar Echo Fox Road, Mike Fox Road. Oscar Echo Fox Road, Mike Fox Road. Wind 3 to 0 degrees, 6 knots, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 27, Oscar Mike Fox Road. Penetrating holding point. Left side is clear, right side is clear. Really nice airport. Uh, it's so lovely. So to respond, we have said the pumps are on, or oh, we should have said the line. And the uh, lights are on, heading check. 269 is and nearly west on the Okay, ready? I am ready. Okay, power is set 98, 30 knots on the one. Not cross checked. It eroded. I have a clear. No chance for reland. Continue. Brakes gear. The pilot is on, and you are 600 feet turning right. Power is set, gear up, flaps up, and pumps are off, lights are off. Cruise climb speed 125. Oscar 
Mike Fox, Conocida Clorator, 123, decimal 975, yeses. 123, 975, Fosk, Mike Fox, yeses. Iraq, Al Raider, Calimera, Fosk, Echo Fox, Mike Fox, is passing 1300 feet on the Apollo 1 Tango. Yes, Oscar Echo Fox, Mike Fox, Trot, Radar Contact, proceed direct Apollo, advise final request level. Side Apollo, and the request level 120, please, Oscar Mike Fox, Trot. We got the Apollo direct. Oscar Echo Foxtrot, Mike Foxtrot, uh, client flight level 120. Coming 124, Oscar Mike Foxtrot. Uh, what we need is flight plan. <coughs> because it's just the end of the Apollo. X749, huh? Hear me. This is the, the next step, this aircraft is too old to have it, but with the with the new 62s and 42s and, no. and, we have, and 40s we have the, the flight stream. Yeah, it just loaded into the... And then, and then I can take it from the Garmin pilot, send, yeah, and it's yeah. in there. Yeah. Too easy. That's sick. X13, X99, November, November. November, November, Lima 611. Lima 611, here we got it. Going Vaxu. Here's Vaxu, here's Vaxu. That's already over there. And next is Lima 6, okay. Yeah, so. 611 to Lokru. Well, look, we already arrived at point into it. Ah, not that bad. Yeah. Um, okay, we got it in here. Descend to 3,000 feet. Descending 3,000, back for stop. You can see it now, the airport, it's slight to the right, 1 o'clock position. See the coast? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then the forest behind the coast, it goes up a little bit and there's a little strip in there. Okay, ah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're not. Okay, visual approach runway 11, join right hand down. Join right hand down, then give it a visual approach runway 11, also come back for stop. Okay, for the port landing, taxi lights on. Fuel pump on. We have the lights are working, the fuel is okay. Do you need the heating? Off of that, and parking brake is released. Okay, my folks, to contact tower 129 decimal 5. 129 5, Fox. Okay, Mike Fox. Super Nick Tower. Super done. I'll see the Fox on Mike Fox on a visual port, Hamley 11. Oscar Echo Fox is Mike Fox, through the Bunnik Tower, Dover Dan, clear to land, runway 11, one, one, wind 130 one, degrees, 190 knots. Clear to land, runway 11, one, one, Oscar Mike Fox, but 90 knots, it's okay. Uh, that's sufficient for a short base. We check it out. Beautiful. Good pilot, flight director off. We're thinking for the flip speed. So, so we're good to land. Flips are set to landing. Get yeah. moving.
Minimums, minimums. Continue. I would say so. <coughs> CBVMC. Okay, try Charlie, follow, follow me. Right, Charlie, follow, follow me. In that case, uh, enter via Charlie, back track line up runway 11, report fully ready. Entering uh, runway 11 and fully back track, I will call you and fully ready, Oscar. Back Fox Road. Going home! <laughs> right side. Is clear. Left side. Foxtrot, uh, QNH now uh, 1014, clear for takeoff runway 11, wind 140 degrees, five no 1 5 knots, maximum 2 3 knots. Connection 1014, get for takeoff runway 11, come back Foxtrot. Correct. AGN 785 is uh, ready for the clearance. AGN 785 clear to Athens via Mokun 6, Charlie departure, squawk 2300 is set, yeah, speed 1 2 is alive, 50 knots cross, check. We continue for the time. Six Charlie departure, squawk four five two two AGN seven eight five. AGN seven eight five, correct. We rotate. Last takeoff. Oscar Mike Fox, do you accept the visual of the departure with the right turn direct to Amuga? Oscar Mike Fox. Oscar Mike Fox, uh, Roger, turn right visually direct Amuga. Turn right visually direct Amuga, Oscar Mike Fox. Oscar Fox, Mac Fox, uh, contact to Dubrovnik Radar, 1, 2, 3, day small 6, bye bye. 1, 2, 3, day small 6, bye bye. Oscar Mac Fox, so thank you very much. Dubrovnik Radar, good day. Oscar Fox, Mac Fox, so passing 3,000 feet, climbing 8,000 in direct to Amugo. Oscar Echo Fox, Mike Fox, uh, Dubrovnik Radar, Dabadan identified. Report heading? 253 at the moment, Oscar Mike Fox. Oscar Mike Fox at flight heading 280 for shortcut, climbed flight level 120. Climbing flight level 120 and heading 280 for the short. Oscar Mike Fox, thank you. Echo Fox at Mike Fox, clear direct to Netco, Idriv next. Netco and then here. Oscar, go Fox, my Fox, Fox, good. Thank you very much. That is correct, Netco, and there are, sir, here, Div. Great. I was not going to spoke too much today, but, but this is exactly the shortcut what I wanted to have. Just want to 
Say thank you. <laughs> as long as the dark area is as, as good for aircraft as the, the bright area, it's good. I hope you liked this trip. Oh, we liked it. Oh, we loved it. Great trip. Easy yep. trip. Straightforward. No big weather issues. No big technical issues. Guy, we hope you want to see more of this in the future again. Maybe in one year. So, yeah, definitely. And uh, so this is coming up soon. Thank you for for uh, following us on the route live. The story yeah, really. That was really all cool. The videos. Yeah. Several guys of you texted us like, yeah, we we saw you and on flight radar and uh, even one guy in Greece. If you see this, I hope your solo flight went well. Uh, really, really nice to see how how positive the reaction was. Yeah. Because actually we're just sitting in an aircraft and flying from A to B. And we're just showing what... This is what we do. This is what we do and what we like and... We thought about why not sharing it for a second time and yeah, it works. I also want to say thank you Martin, because this is not normal. This is... I'm still a student. Uh, yeah. Uh, almost finished. Uh, Having the opportunity first fly down the 40, uh, and you yeah, step up and just say, uh, yeah, being a teacher, I'm really thankful for that. So, big thank you to you also, and of course to Diamond also. And thanks to you to join me because uh, that's it's always good to have a good friend on board yeah. and uh, have some fun in the cockpit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, sitting alone. <laughs> so. Stay tuned for the next episodes, whatever this will be. Yeah, who knows where we're going next, to bars and back. Do you like to see? Which kind of trips do you like to see? That was that would be cool if you comment. Uh, uh, which kind of trip should we plan to get you in? With me? Uh, or the guys? No, no, they should, they should tell us, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so we, we, we have several trips, we fly everywhere. Yeah, uh, around uh, the world, world yeah. actually, yeah. Should we tell them? my situation. You signed the contract? Uh, Nick is joining us at Diamond Aircraft. Yeah, that's a huge thing for me. Uh, so, I'm coming. <laughs> this will be great. Uh, joining flight operations. And uh, there will be much more fun things coming up. Yeah, we connect again for the final approach and the final destination. Exactly, I hope you, there is enough light that you see something of it and one more time thank you. We are all in pro. Coming home now. Owl is coming home, yeah? So, or owl, or how do you say it? Owl. The Austrian way, the owl. <laughs> Thank you. Shutting down.